Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Pathesh Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 23rd March 2021. In the international market, U.S. government debt prices were higher on Monday as a dramatic downturn in the Turkish lira sparked fears of a new currency crisis. Turkish president abruptly replaced the country's central bank chief, sending shockwaves throughout the financial market. The US dollar was last seen trading up 10% against the Turkish lira at 7.93. With these random events, investors rushed to safer assets like US treasuries. At the same time, the reflation trade seems cooling off now as market has found the support at 175 levels and it has reversed from 175. The US 10-year closed 5 basis points down at 164, 169 and 30-year closed 7 basis points down at 238 on Monday. In the crude oil market, crude is trading at $64.16 per barrel. Crude's short-term range seems to be 63 to 66. For a quick trade, our in-house quantitative models are showing a price of $67 very soon and one can go long now at $64 per barrel. In the currency market, dollar index or DXY is trading at 91.81. Today's range seems to be 91.70 to 92.19. USD CNY or Chinese Yuan is at 651. USD INR with a high of 72.47 closed at 72.37 on Monday. USD INR's range for today seems to be 72.25 to 72.50. 72.30 will be touched today but strong resistance to be met. In the domestic market, the government has decided to cancel the last auction of government securities in the current financial year after reviewing its cash balance position. This has come timely as March end is approaching and all the banks had mark to market concerns. Cancelled GSEC auctions, continued OMOs, cooling off US Treasury yields are signaling a small but sharp rally in the bond prices in coming few days. Our expectation of 585 GS 2030 Indian 10-year benchmark to close 31st March 2021 around 615 level seems possible now. 515 GS 2025 closed at 571 versus 576 the previous trading day. 585 GS 2030 closed at 618 versus 619 the previous trading day. We expect the rally in 515 GS 2025 to continue further and would close our positions soon. Please note that the 10-year SDLs are now trading below 7 levels. Please remember that SDLs couple of weeks back were trading in the range of 710 to 720 have now come below 7 levels and it's time to book SDL profits very soon. The SDL G6 spreads are now at 80 basis points and a cool off of another 10 basis points is expected to bring the spreads in 70-75 basis points range. Now. A very important circular from the SEBI on 81 bonds valuation and exposure norms. Remember the recent circular from SEBI on tier 1 and tier 2 81 bonds exposure norms and valuations? There were no issues on the exposure norms as regulator wanted to safeguard the mutual fund schemes by not taking any unwanted 81 exposures in the greed of increasing the yields especially in the banking and PSU space. But the real concern was valuing 81 bonds as 100 year maturity bonds instead of yield to call YTC which is the prevailing practice as on today. MV, the mutual fund body had reached out to SEBI requesting to ease the 81 bond valuation norms, explaining the possible wild swings in the prices and their inability to offload all the 81 bonds in such a short span of time if the new methodology were to be applied by 1st April 2021 for 81 bond valuations. We have seen some sharp sell-off in the 81 bonds recently where yields have spiked by 70-80 basis points recently but now SEBI has given some relaxations on the timings. Instead of changing the methodology, SEBI has extended the timelines. Let me simplify. From 1st April 2021 to 1st April 2022 for the next one year, 81 bonds have to be valued at 10-year maturity uh, dates maturity bonds from the date of issuances. From 1st April 2022 to 30th September 2022, the first half of FY22, 81 bonds need to be valued as 20 year maturity bonds from the date of issuances. From 1st October 2022 to 31st March 2023, 
the second half of FY23, 81 bonds have to be valued as 30-year maturity bonds from the date of issuances. From 1st April 2023 onwards, which is the FY24 and onwards, 81 bonds need to be valued as 100-year maturity bonds from the date of issuances. Hence, we request all the banks to close their MF exposures by 31st March 2021. Please consult your account managers before taking any fresh MF investments, especially in the MF schemes where there is an 81 bond exposure. Did you know that all this information on which scheme holds how much 81 exposure is easily accessible with Night Weekend's mutual fund module for treasurers where the MF holdings gets updated every 15 days? If you have not looked at our MF Beacon, the modern integrated treasury management solution, book your slots for demo today. That's it for today. You were listening to Night Snippets with Pathesha, co-founder of Night Fintech. See you tomorrow with a new episode of Night Snippets.